And here we go, YouTube. I appreciate y'all checking out my channel. I had such a good following of my head porting videos. Uh, I thought I would show you this. It's just going to be a kind of a quick intake gasket match and kind of an examination of these new Edelbrock uh, Performer RPM cylinder heads for a small block Mopar. You can see the part number there, 60179. Uh, they are 65 cc, I believe 101, 171 uh, cc intake runner. Uh, so pretty nice flowing heads. You know, they they still um, small block Mopar heads have uh, come a long way in the past five or ten years that I've noticed. But here I'm just showing you uh, exhaust port side of this. There are helicoils in that side, you'll notice. Uh, one, one thing I noticed with these heads, they must have set it up um, to be CNC'd and they cut out for each exhaust port. Um, there's just a little bit of ridge that kind of hung over there. So I, when you stick your finger in, you can feel it. You know, I, I didn't touch any of that with my grinder, anything like that. Um, and I kind of noticed on the uh, exhaust side that there was a couple tiny pieces of slag and I had to remove that slag. I, it would it would have never fell in the motor, but it could have, you know, got some hot spots on it or something. Um, but here's these Fell Pro 1213 gaskets they recommend. The intakes, they matched up perfectly. I couldn't, you know, if they were if they were totally centered on there, everything lined up. I I there was no way I could even put a mark on it with a black magic marker. So. Here I've got these intake gaskets. I'll just show you here with my pick. Um, the ports look really, really great. You know, if you if you wanted to take a little extra time uh, and get in there with the grinder, or if you wanted to take a little extra money and get these CNC ported, go ahead. But I won't be able to afford that. This is going on our project Red Sled. Uh, you can check out that last video, but. Um, he had needed some heads for that motor, and this is what we got. So definitely a lot better off. Uh, we had a bad intake on the other motor, so here's what I'm going with. This is a single plane, old school torquer. Uh, that number's 2753, and you know it's. I think they call it torquer 340. So it it would have worked fine on a 340. Would have worked fine on this, um, and it will. But I'm going to make it work a little bit better. Um, here, basically what we're doing is just a gasket match. I'm going to go in about three quarters to an inch and just transition everything. You can see the overhang from that gasket. Um, this is actually the intake that I used to port my 318 heads with. Uh, but he ended up needing it. So we kind of made a deal. Um, and it's going to really, it's going to wake his motor up. It's going to seal great. Uh, basically I'm going to get, I'll get my marker out in just a second and I'll be able to mark those ports, kind of show you the difference and then I'll go to work. Um, I usually just grab a couple bolts, you know, they're three eighths bolts, get it lined up, uh, center it up and down, go ahead and make my mark. Uh, pretty fine tip, Sharpie marker works. Um, you know, some people have a machinist's paint or something that they uh, put on and then just scrape with a pick to make it really, really precise. But uh, in my in my case, I like using the marker. And then when all that marker is gone, uh, we'll know that it's there. But obviously, I can stick it back on, check it again. So I got it set up here. Um, I'll get my, my grinder out. Uh, this is an angled... Uh, Harbor Freight grinder that I've had for a couple of years and I realize um, you know my carbide bit is not uh, perfectly made for aluminum it's I think what they would call maybe a cross cut bit it's more designed for steel but it works fine for aluminum if you're careful uh, my other bits were away from the shop that day and I, I needed to get this done so after I'd hit this with the that carbide, I um, I even got some uh, probably 80 grit sandpaper 
and I was just kind of wrapped it around my paint stick and I, I worked these heads by hand just to knock out any, um, you know, imperfections, anything like that. Uh, just kind of starting on that one side going around. And especially like if I'm, if I'm beveling this, I normally take it all the way out to my line and then I work from the outside in. I don't, you know, some people go from inside out, but I feel like it's a little bit better to, to know, know where you're going to. And here we go. Just kind of show you that with my, my pick. And I'll get you a different angle in just a second on the other two ports. But basically, you know, after each time, I like to throw my gasket back up, see what I'm missing. You know, it only takes a second. I probably had uh, close to three hours in these heads. I mean, I'm sorry, in this intake. Just eyeballing everything. And I will end up going a little bit deeper in there, knock out some of that rough casting, make it all flow well. Uh, but I think you would really have kind of a tumble effect if, uh, you know, this procedure wasn't, didn't take place where it's just, it comes out of that small port and blows into a big port. You know, you, you I guess you, you lose a little bit of velocity, but the transition is so much better. And, you know, he's got a very pretty healthy cam in this motor. Uh, I can't tell you a lot about it. Uh, but it's 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 a pretty hot combination, especially with these heads. So I'll just set you up and let watch you let me let you watch me work for a minute. And here we go. I got that left side port done. I want to check it with my gasket, be sure I'm out to it. And overall, it looks pretty good. You know, if there's a little spot that I missed or something, I'll come back and get it. But I didn't, I didn't show you any of the hand porting with, um, you know, just touching up with that sandpaper. And if you've seen my videos before, I, you know, I like to do some first person stuff. So kind of check this out. It's kind of quick and dirty. But show you a pretty nice finished product. And here we go. Double check that with my gasket. Looks pretty good. Usually there's always a little spot somewhere, you know, it's not quite perfect. If, you, if you've got a good light, uh, got a good eye, you'll be able to see it. You know, it's, and this is not a, not a difficult task uh, for anyone really. If you've got a steady hand, you know, aluminum cuts a lot easier than steel does. Um, so it, it moved a lot, a lot faster. If you're, if you're not careful, you may cut deeper, but it's plenty thick. You can take out quite a bit. Um,
Here I'll get just get my rag, kind of wipe off. You'll notice I was I have a cup there, just had some transmission fluid in it, and basically it it it, it serves kind of as a cutting fluid, and it keeps the bit from getting so clogged up with aluminum. Uh, like I said, if I had the that correct bit out, then that may not have happened. But I'll throw up some pics for you and let you see. Here's some finished product. I'm pretty pleased with this job. Um, see, I got my light out. You'll be able to see clear. Uh, but I definitely think, you know, 5, 10 horsepower, who knows? Um, definitely be beneficial to the build. And to get every little bit out of your motor, you got to take these extra steps. So thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you next time.